Bonsoir to Le Monde. Welcome back to Tom Plays EU4 for Absolute Beginners. We are back with France. Pretty lucky last time. So we've now got Provence on our side. We now need to look at what to do next. Right, so, uh, should have some ships going around there. Easter Island. So we do want to send the Conquistador. Need to head up there for the bourgeoisie, that's fine. Hopefully these guys are going to be able to keep a lid on any uprisings. And we need to possibly look at invading either the Holy Roman Empire or Great Britain. I was vaguely wondering whether it might be worth just this once becoming defender of the faith simply because it gets us another missionary so it might allow us to end these wars of religion sooner I think I'm gonna risk it. it does give us more prestige anyway military access that's fine no problem there got here no we're fine those are the things we took from Spain So we do get a technology cost from being Defender of the Faith, but I'm still pretty keen to spread, use our monarch points to spread global trade. That is also the problem, we've cost ourselves some money. At least we don't have any loans now. How close is this place? Not very close at all, but it is pretty central. So it might be a good option. Okay. Let's get it as high as I can. In danger of falling significantly behind here. In fact, that is something we need to watch with our military power. So we're on 17, but spending it all on this, we are going to fall behind. So yeah, really need that to spread, so let's try and not spend any more money for a bit. Okay, what do we do next? Right, so we've still got the Wars of Religion, but being Defender of Faith will probably help. The problem with it, the reason I've been avoiding it, is that we can now be pulled into other people's wars. So hopefully someone will take it off us, but if, if nothing else, it does give us some advantages as well, so... Why not? It's fine. It's fine. And get our war exhaustion down a little quicker as well. Okay. I think under the circumstances, rather than worrying too much about wars, let's focus on colonies for now. I'm probably going to risk... moving this army away briefly. We've nearly finished this colony anyway. So hopefully that won't be a problem. Across to limit how long we're away for. I would like you to be fully healed. Ooh, right, diplomatic power's going up a bit now. This is something we'll be able to do as well. When you have a spy network, you can do a few extra things once your diplomacy is a high enough tech. So, they've caused unrest. Tupinamba have insulted us. Don't really care. I could insult them back. I'm guessing they're these guys. Only I don't have a diplomat, of course, so I can't. They're getting on my nerves, so I'm going to tell them to redo their protection of Brazil so they'll start moving again. Sure, that's a bug. I can't believe you haven't fixed it yet. They kind of go to ground during war, but then they should start moving again after the war. And in gameplay terms, they do, I think. They do start actually helping with trade again, but they don't seem to physically move. And it's not usually a problem, but in that case, they were sort of sitting on my only port in Brazil, so it was a pain. Okay. Oh, brilliant. That's perfect. 
because that means we can actually move these guys over much as I would like to get more land here we're basically going to have to have a massive war with the Incas anyway I think to make any kind of headway in Peru if we're lucky they'll fail in one of their rituals or something and their empire will disintegrate anyway before we have to deal with them seems to happen a lot oh, we've got another colony never rains but it pours okay right so they have actually filled up this area all right they're protecting the place okay so rather than colonizing inland which we probably don't need to worry about too much i think we should head to the other side of these guys So I am going to need some ships to move them across. Could even use the main navy. Oh, finished making the galleon. So our navy finally has an actual military ship and a relatively technological one by our standards, which are admittedly not great. Okay, so in this case, because this is Terra Incognita, we need to actually transport an army with a conquistador in order to uncover it. It will be uncovered eventually anyway, but I'm planning to put a colony there. So I was going to just land the army and then pull them out again. But as it is, I think I will leave them there. Right, okay. We've once again got a technology that's probably because we're falling behind basically so it isn't costing as much but again I'm going to focus on trying to get global trade here at least our money's going up fairly fast now much better so I'm not going to do anything to change that oh inflation's going down too that's good that'll help not going to spend money, get better advisors or anything like that. We're going to send a colonist here. Then you need to go further up the coast so we can do that exploration mission. So we need to be careful here because the port for Panama is on the wrong side. We need to land in Darien. <laughs> Otherwise our ships will end up dying. But that should put us in a good position for exploring. And colonising Easter Island will be brilliant for us because it gets us further to the west and it gives us some land that will remain ours. That will never become a colonial nation. Okay, brilliant. Progress. Okay, I'm going to spin on a little. Actually just realised we've got a diplomat back. So we should insult these guys, because they insulted us. I think it's a power projection thing, sending insults. It gives you a reason to attack them, but it's a power projection. We eclipsed Great Britain, good for us. But yeah, it's not something I'm very interested in as a rule, because you can't really use that Cassus Belly to take land. Okay, kind of need this colony to actually appear. You practice with our merchants, I'm going to accept that, because I don't want to lose the prestige. We've got a lot, but... Not so much, I really want to lose any. There's a colony, so we'll just move this army across to defend it. And then we'll get the navy back to Europe. We do want to build this navy up further. But not right now, because we really... We really need to just gain money and get global trade sorted. Okay, so who's this? Antilles. I've probably done Antilles, but we can actually check with the subject screen. 
yeah it's already on 16 so I'm going to leave it be but you see this is not a bad thing because we will gain some monarch points which are arguably more valuable than money anyway speaking of oh no I don't have any we can use there I think it's the military power that we need there probably want to stop using it soon anyway right we're going to start exploring as soon as these ships have recovered and we also need to work on our diplomats right so a good thing we do need to keep an eye on is how our various subjects feel about us so Genoa and Provence are the lowest so let's send some improvements to them We do still need to keep our land claims high, especially now that we're Defender of the Faith, because we could be dragged into any war, especially in the Holy Roman Empire, which is where a lot of the Reformation happens. So we do want claims on pretty much every country in the Holy Roman Empire, especially Catholic, because we get dragged into a war, we might be able to get a bit, little bit of land from them. But for now, like to just focus on improving relations with people. Finished coring Rousselon, which is great. So this one we actually do want to core again, and we also want to start improving with Provence, which we're already doing. Excellent. Okay. Well, with that in mind, let's start building a spy network in Spain. Because I don't want to spend too long thinking about it. Because we need to keep exploring. We might be able to go a fair way because we're only going up the coast. Before we take any significant damage. It's mostly out in the high seas that we suffer most of the damage. one that we took so we may not have any spare colonists oh no we do no we don't no we don't the only reason we're only spending four is because one of our colonists is still en route. That's fine. Yeah, so we we're probably spending more money, so hopefully our money gains will actually accelerate now. I don't know how clear I made it, incidentally. I'm not choosing this because once we embrace global trade, it will be a lot cheaper. So we'll spend less monarch points on it. So even though in pursuit of global trade, I'm kind of wasting monarch points developing provinces those provinces will stay developed right i think that's far enough that we should turn around and go back to darien let's not take any unnecessary risks of our ships we might with that in mind oh good grief we lost the stability but because we do have a lot of admin power let's just bump it back up again <laughs> it is a little wasteful once we've got um, global trade sorted, I think we will try to build up our tech for a while. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, really hoping we can actually get this sorted soon. Because a lot of the lands around us seem to have it already. I mean, it's much easier to embrace if you're a small country, but I don't know what Spain's excuse was. Well, there you go. Maybe they just had an awful lot of money. I don't think we actually took any from them in the end because we were too busy taking colonial regions, which is absolutely fine by me. 
so yeah we need 3,000 to do it so with that in mind I'm hopefully gonna just take a plus one advisor oh that looks good yearly inflation reduction I can go with that so that will give us more money over time we can also use um, admin power I think yep to reduce it by two which will bump our monthly money up but that's pretty high anyway so I think I'll just leave it and this guy's gonna reduce it anyway so that's fine it will be fine still a little reluctant to do war right now let's get these ships repaired Send them up here, and then I'm going to see if there's anyone I should be making claims on. So, Austria, they're always the big one. Plenty of claims on Austria, we're fine. Burgundy, also plenty of claims on Burgundy. Provence is ours anyway. Luxembourg, we've got them. Holland, we've got some claims on them. Doing pretty well here. Yeah. Liege, we actually have claims on just about everybody. That is pretty impressive. Milan, no claims on Milan. Okay, let's build a spy network in Milan then. No objection to moving further into Italy. We have an option for a Protestant king. Lose two stability, I would say yes. Let's do it. Bump off. Back up if we can. I can only get to plus two, but that's fine. I might even stop messing with our monarch points now. Because we want to have some saved up when we embrace global trade. And I'm hoping that our money will make that happen sooner rather than later. You've got to remember global trade will be spreading anyway, even without us adding development. So the cost should come down as our money goes up. Once we do have global trade, I think we need to start building manufactories. We're a bit late on that. In fact, we don't have them in London and Paris. We should probably build them in spite of needing the money for global trade because I think it's probably the next institution. And it would be nice to have a chance to be the birthplace of it. Uh, what do you mean, time for a Protestant king? We already did it. We literally just turned him Protestant. What on earth are you talking about? I'm not doing it again, if you're just going to undo it after I do it. You can forget it. <laughs> what the heck, game? <laughs> Excuse me? So what, it, you cost me two stability points to turn in Protestant and then he instantly reverts to Catholic? Yeah, no thanks. I think I'll, uh, I'll just accept having a Catholic king, I guess. Maybe we'll look at it against once the rules of religion are over. <sighs> Marvellous. C'est la vie. Ooh, actually. Look at that 75% ship, and we are getting a little further away now so we've got further to go back I'm not entirely sure which regions we need to explore because we've gone quite a way up for now I'll well, keep going for now if it turns out we need to land a conquistador then we will just do so should be about to finish another one Getting there, you see we've already got high attrition. Formed zealots in Toulon again. That's actually Provence, not us. But we're pretty close, so we'll go help. So I think they are Protestant. They are, which is only gonna help them get on with us. Oh, good 
reef. Right, so we didn't actually turn back in time. Which is upsetting. But at least we're only exploring for now, so we don't need to worry too much about how many troops they can hold. We should probably do. In fact, what we should probably do. Haven't actually checked this. If we go to religion scream. Oh no, we're fine. The Reformation have ended. So if we did have one, it would have been worth converting that province. But it looks like it isn't. So actually, we should probably just doing them in order. Especially that one, because that's worth quite a bit. Okay, brilliant. Just keep going. Keep going regardless. Now where can I build some new ships? Nowhere near there. Never mind. I'll probably be able to build some on Easter Island once we finish colonising it. Oh that probably isn't soon enough really. So is there anywhere else I can build? What does it we need? got a carrack, we need two new transports. Right, actually, some of these colonies can build them, can't they? Because they're still ours. So let's just build a couple of our own merchant men now. <laughs> so one advantage of losing ships is that we can replace them with something a bit more technologically advanced. Right, this was the colony we were building to try and, um, yeah, I remember, to try and fulfil that uh, agenda that we failed at. Right, this is all part of Colonial Columbia, so really they should be dealing with this themselves now, so let's just move you along to Darien, and we could do with opening a colony up here. Spain. Okay, let's go here. So we won't be able to take the entire army until those two ships are finished, but we can take the army piecemeal. Once it gets there. Store real measure behavior. We should probably try and improve relations with them actually. Is actually started yet? No, it hasn't. I don't know if we can risk exploring a little after we drop them off. Ooh, what have we got? And Corsica. Oh no, I'm, I'm game to uh, have a claim. set core secure of course but we're getting to the point where I think we actually have enough of vassals so yeah they're not damaged yet I mean, probably risk just going into this one area at least <laughs> I 
bit overdue, Spain announcing us as their rival. We should check our rivals, actually. If we're really lucky, Great Britain might have just got good enough to be a no, But if not, we should make sure we have a full number. Oh, brilliant. Right, so we've completed this estate. Fantastic. In that case, I will certainly send these ships home. Probably too late to stop them exploring this. So I don't know if we'll be able to get back in time because that colony doesn't exist yet. So let's just send them back to Darien. Send these ships up to Darien to join them. But that's good. Right. So we actually fulfilled the bourgeoisie's requirements this time. How close are we to ending the wars of religion? Catalonian separatists, right. So that's rather more of a concern to us than the religious zealots, but I'm not against helping with the religious zealots as well. In fact, you could even have a conquistador because he's not really doing anything right now. how that goes. We should be very close to being able to afford global trade now. Yeah, have got high naval attrition again. Kind of inevitable. Oh, brilliant. Have some random money. Oh! Sorry, I shouldn't actually sit in Jerusalem. Otherwise, the oh, Austria's attacking Milan. Nice. Lost our explorer, that's fine. Bourgeoisie want city, I will accept that. Okay. So the question is, should we immediately attack Milan? Well, we do have... Bunch of people already. Corsica, on the other hand. Hang on a minute. Ooh, interesting. I'm suddenly very interested in this. So basically, because Austria is attacking Milan now, Austria isn't willing to join in if we invade Corsica. So if we take this country that we just got a claim on, who are we fighting? Flanders, Padua. I think we can take these people even on our own. We just need a diplomat. And I probably shouldn't have given Milan military access to be honest. But anyway. Right, so who are we improving relations with? Provence, right, we do not need to improve with them any further. But yeah, it's a good opportunity to attack them basically, and we don't really need the Ottomans, I don't think. It's a bit of a problem with Flanders. But I do want to make some claims on Milan as soon as possible. Actually, we were already building something with Milan, weren't we? That's a bit unfortunate. I really should have built some claims on Milan first. Ah oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Naturally, we've got a bunch of uprisings now because we're at war. I'm hoping this one won't take too long. I'm also hoping Genoa might invade Corsica for us, but we'll see. But yeah, Flanders is a bit of a pain, but it'd be quite nice if we could actually take Flanders. Even if we can't get much out of Milan. So we could try and vassalise Milan. It's still Protestant King. Yeah, I thought it was. Oh, need to keep this going. I'm nearly there. Well, not really. Don't think we want to call.
pull any of those. And now embrace gold trade. I'm going to do so immediately. And I'm going to immediately start doing technology. Because it should cost less now. Okay, we've got them. Who's this? See, I don't really want to help them take the castle because I think they may be on Austria's side. Oh, we're on the leaving. If they do leave, then we'll be taking the castle, so that's different. So hopefully. Right, you head up to Flanders and try and take them. Yeah, that's much better. Okay, spine network size has been reduced, so really we should instantly make a couple of claims. So I suppose let's take Girona. Yep. And Skaya. There we go. I'm gonna keep the spine network going though. Okay, we've embraced global trade, so we now have another merchant. It should help us a bit. So let's see what options have we got. We don't have one in Bordeaux. I don't really feel like we need one in Bordeaux. We've got like almost all of the trade power. So I mean I suppose we could transfer trade power. Just wonder how useful that would actually be compared to actually just sending them out to the new world. So Mississippi River apparently is one. They tend to be roughly in order of how valuable they are, so I might just do that. Let's transfer trade power from Mississippi River. And hopefully get it all the way to Champagne. military access, I don't really mind. Got a relative. I'm gonna excuse him. <laughs> Lose us prestige, but I hope we're about to gain some prestige anyway, because of this war we're fighting, so I'm not too worried about it. So you know is at least blockading Corsica. I suppose we could try and send an army across. Taken Milano. Okay, what's your peace offer? They're going to renounce cause and give us some money. It's not great, really, is it? It's peace offers go. I'm also sort of thinking I might leave Milan alone and use this as an excuse to take this province and this one, which I'm assuming we have a claim on. So if we just sort of stomp all over Milan. I hope we do have like lands here, don't they? So I'm half tempted to vassalize them again. But um, the problem is I'm worried we're gonna cut ourselves off. Yeah, this this spy network's not happening, is it? I should have made claims before declaring war. My fault. Okay, that's a new colony. Occupied a new place. Austria has inherited Luxembourg. That is the traditional way that Austria takes land. What are you doing here? Oh, you're protecting a trade node. Fair enough. Oh, we actually do want to uh, call this again as well. Because this will remain our land. It won't be a colonial nation. 
spots, that is absolutely fine. Basically just waiting for this nation to fall, really. I don't think we actually need to take Corsica. I do kind of wish that you know would do it for us. <laughs> Just a minor nuisance, you know. Peace offer from Corsica, they're willing to cede it to us. I am totally up for that, but I want to take Flanders first. So let's just get that done. Right. Who's this? That's Milan, that's fine. Yeah, you give me Flanders, and move there, to the next door, and you give me Nizza, and I will actually leave Milan alone. Just this once. Might mean that Austria manages to take more of them than they would have done. But still, I've taken a couple of bits of what I think of the Holy Roman Empire, so I'm happy with that. Yep. That should be impacting the Imperial authority quite badly as well now. See how much they're losing? They gain 10 for being elected again, Austria, but they're losing 0 0.41 every month. That should make them relatively harmless now. Get this, I'm gonna go deal with those guys. I'm sure one army will be enough. Actually, where is Noop? Noop, eh? Doesn't really matter to be fair. Just curious. I'm never gonna find it like this though. Pretty sure I read that right. No, nope, maybe not. Fair enough. Very embarrassing. Because <laughs> that's fine. In fact, we should check out our rival boss. Okay, apparently we lost the general, I didn't notice. Why is our new general not very good? It's very upsetting, we clearly need to work on our technology and then work on our military ideas. Let's just put this uprising down. I might head over here actually because we are expecting an uprising. Establish Sunday schools, missionary strength, yes please. Definitely up for that. Right, okay. So, manufactories. I'm just gonna go for the basic ones. There are a bunch of different things which will give you different options, but basic ones work perfectly well for me. So I'm just gonna stick with those. So we want one in Paris. I think we already have one in London, that's why it's yellow either that or we don't yet have the technology to make the one they can take which is a textile manufacturing oh no apparently we just don't have a tech or oh there's no room for one right interesting one that actually needs more development to have a manufactory that's interesting okay Fair enough, I'm not going to worry about it for now, but Paris, which already has 45 development, is now building one, because I believe that's going to be next up. Yeah, manufactory, so I want a chance of Paris being the birthplace of them. 
which will only happen if we finish the manufacturing in time. But the other thing that will happen in manufacturing is it'll start spreading from everywhere we've got one. So we need to start peppering them around so that we can get it sooner rather than later, whether we're the birthplace or not. Okay, what's next? Right, let's start rebuilding the Milan spy network. Which apparently we can't yet do, but let's make a claim with what we have done. Oh, fair enough. Not far to go anywhere, really. I don't really want to start another war. In fact, I'd like to go over to Great Britain, but I'm reluctant to risk it until... The wars of religion are officially over. So, we'll just have to give it time. Fair enough. Okay, we should take the rest of the colonial army to the new colony. So I think there's three regions we need to worry about up here. We've got Mexico, which is actually a tricky one. We almost missed out on Mexico. So I think our colony here was probably our last chance to get a foothold. But from now we can go inland, which is good. We've got California. And right up here we've got Cascadia. So that should mean we now have a foothold in every colonial region. We do need to subsidize these people as well. So I might start doing that with our diplomats. Military access from Austria. I'm going to decline that because I hate them. Just to make the lives difficult. Right, so if you don't have a subsidy, you should. Doesn't have to be a lot. But I want these guys to start spreading more. Florida has subsidies already. Can you spread? You actually can spread, can't you? Let's give you some subsidies. I don't know if there's anywhere that Antilles can spread to. French Columbia also needs subsidies. The Emperor is demanding we give them territory. I think that's going to be a no. Alright, was that land we took actually Nice? Excellent. I recognise it with the Italian name. Where are you going? Oh, Catalonian separatists. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, go go separate in uh, in Spain then. Suits me. Have we got enough supply limits? Yeah, I thought we would have. Oh yeah, excellent. That's actually neat. All right, brilliant. Well, that completely derailed my train of thought. Yeah, so we were looking at diplomats here, not diplomats, subsidies, which we've got now. Can't subsidize them, they're not a colonial nation. Can't subsidize them. We really need to start building down here. Although at least we should be able to take land from them directly. Benin. Did not expect that. Interesting. Okay, I'm just going to pause that for a sec. We actually need to start exploring from here. But in the meantime, let's start some colonies over here. And right, so we're actually somewhere up here. We've got an uprising. We have and that should be sufficient to take it down. And we do want to call this. Okay, so we're going to need to move this army over to a new colony, and then we need to start exploring to the west. So first of all, 
need to move this shit down, which should be fine because I shouldn't need the ship up there anymore. However, Benin, interesting. Do I get a Cassus Belly for that? I actually don't. What I do get though is a sudden reminder of our existence and an interest in building a spy network. Right, so with that, let's just build another manufactory somewhere that we don't have one already. So in some ways, I don't want them right next door, even though they are really good for money. As you can sort of see, with a little pluses in green, this is what we get every month for them. So this is actually a great place to have a manufactory. But I'm mostly at the moment thinking in terms of spreading... the institution okay we've lost some of our claims which is not good we need to get them back so let's go here because it's a fairly good place and it's reasonably central they are quite expensive so we're not going to be able to get as many as we'd like we will actually have a mission for building them i think we need to build 20 and we've currently got seven we'll hopefully start getting some agendas for them as well but before looking at the agenda I think I'm going to call it for today so it wasn't too bad chipped away a couple more bits of the empire while Austria was busy attacking its <laughs> its neighboring country so it could be a problem because Austria may now take this and become a little more powerful so we may need to think about cutting them down to size but I think as second the wars of religion are over we're going to want to take advantage of our claims on Great Britain so and that will hopefully be next time although it does feel like we're moving backwards slightly but we will keep on at it being defender of the faith does help and we haven't yet been dragged into another war so we'll see how it goes but yeah let's leave that where it is for now and uh yeah thank you for watching i will see you next time